Hi everyone, Petal is blessed here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on to share with you guys a wedding centerpieces that I'll be making. My cousin is having a wedding and she likes the way I do my DIYs. <laughs> so she just asked me, you know, to do some nice flower arrangements for her wedding. So I said, sure, why not? Because she's a diva on a budget just like me, you guys. So I'm going to share some of that with you guys. Let me show you the items that I'll be using. All right, you guys, I have the Dollar Tree mirrors here, the square mirrors. <laughs> We're using those to make our boxes. And I have these vase fillers that I got from Dollar oh, Dollarama. Sorry about that. And we have some glitter ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And we have our glitter. <laughs> And our Mod Podge. Yep. And we have this tall vase here. That I got from a dollar and more store in my area. It's a nice tall drinking vase. Ah! No. <laughs> it's a wine vase. <laughs> wine glass vase. And we have these shiny little glitter sticks. And our flowers now, we have an arrangement of different flowers that I'll be using. Nice roses. And these flowers I got from the Dollar and More store in my area. Some I think my cousin said she got from the Dollar store. I'm not sure which Dollar store, but yeah. And these are tools that we'll be using. And we have some duct tape here we'll be using for the mirrors. And our glue gun. All right, everyone, let's get started. All right, everyone, I'm going to share with you how I do my um, mirrored boxes. I line up five pieces like a, a cross, and then we're going to add duct tape to the four bottom corners. Just line up the mirrors neatly together and put some duct tape down. And then we're going to put some duct tape on the sides. And then we're going to stand it up and join them together. All the sides and go right around the box and bring them up until we have our square. This is good for extra support. And now we're going to use the glue gun and seal the sides inside. All the sides coming up the sides and at around the square at the bottom. Now we're going to take our glitter tape. And we're just going to add it to the sides of our boxes because there's imperfections of where the squares line up with each other. So when you add the glitter ribbon over it, it hides that. So your box looks nice and neat. Now it's time to add our vase fillers with our Mod Podge going all around the bottom of our boxes to help bling them out. <laughs> so we're just going to add it all around to the four corners. And these vase fillers, I got them from Dollarama, but I'm sure you can get them from your dollar stores or even Michaels. You know, just little um, plastic shiny um, crystals and you just add them along the bottom. And when the crystals are dry, we're just going to add some more Mod Podge and add our glitter, you guys. Got to bling it out with the glitter. <laughs> Large glitter particles is what I use. Now it's time to decorate our large, tall wine glass vase with this bling wrap that I got from Totally Dazzled. And I cut off the strips already. Long strips, just cut them. It's easier to wrap it if you cut it with the strips. And then we're just going to start at the bottom and go all the way up. Well, not all the way up, halfway up. Mm -hmm. 
was okay. I was okay. Even though when we go out, girl, I was with you like all day. Like all day. Yeah. Yeah. Now I got a much different frame of mind. Mm -hmm. Switch it up. If you need advice, girl, don't take this, take mine. Oh, I'll take mine, girl. girl. I'll admit, all the money that came and changed it all up. But now, ain't nothing gonna come and change your love. Ain't nothing no more. Cause now it's a different love. I'm a double better love, I'm a love it better, yeah. Now that I got you beside me. All right, now that we've reached the top where I want to stop, if you see, it's as you can see, um, it just stops right there. Look a little closer. Yeah, it just stops right there and it looks kind of awkward. So what I'm going to do is um, take this piece and just bring it over. Hope you guys can see that. Yeah, bring it over like that so it looks much more neater. Instead of just having it straight along and then you see that's definitely, you know, <laughs> unfinished. <laughs> so you just add the glue and then just bring it over so it blends right in. There we go, you see? Much neater, looks much more professional, and that's all you have to do. <laughs> now we're gonna do the flowers. So you just add your foam, glue it into the bottom of the box, and I already cut the flowers, and we're just arranging them all around our box, you guys. And for the foam ball I'll be using, I'll be putting glitter on the bottom. So we just use some Mod Podge and put the glitter on and then we start. We're just going to arrange our flowers going all around the ball, the foam ball, which I cut the flowers already. So we're just going to add them. And now we're back to our tall wine vase. I'll be adding these LED lights. <laughs> inside the bottom and I'll be cutting this glitter sticks and placing them in there also and the LED lights you can get them either at Dollar Tree and also at Dollarama they both sell them some of the glitter sticks I'll be placing upside down like you see and some I'll be placing right side up just to make it look a little filler in fuller in the vase <laughs> All right, everyone, here's our finished look. I think they look lovely. I love the tall centerpiece. It looks very nice with the LED lights inside. They're all blinged out and they look absolutely lovely. I love how it turned out. I think she'll be very pleased <laughs> when she sees them. Don't you guys think? I think she will. They look very nice. And listen, you guys, <clears throat> this wedding piece, wedding centerpiece, is really a budget friendly set, you know, that you guys can do. The small, <clears throat> sorry, the small uh, mirrored glasses with the flowers inside, they cost around $9 each <clears throat> for me to make. Because when you consider the, the five mirrors and then the flowers and um, the little beaded stuff on the bottom, you know, I round them off around $9 each. The tall one now is a little bit more money because the vase itself was $12. You know, and then um, the bling wrap I had already, but I still factored in the price. That cost me around $22 to make that one, which is very good. You know, we're all a diva on a budget. You can have a lovely wedding centerpiece, lovely wedding decors, all with items from the dollar store and the dollar tree you guys now these two n ones are the arrangement that i'll be having for the regular tables <laughs> that she'll have in the hall 
Yeah, they're just a little different flowers from the, the, the main table. And here's all the arrangements right here. <laughs> just thought I'd share with you guys. If, if you see me, if you have me on Instagram, you would have seen me showing you these flower arrangements. Because as I did them, I put them up on Instagram to share with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone, I hope I've inspired you with a lovely wedding decor <laughs> for you guys to do, or even just make a nice flower box for your home also. <laughs> and thank you for coming on and seeing the DIY that I had to do for today. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, so you can come and see more of the DIYs I come up with to share with you guys. And remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Bliss. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs> yeah. All my life, I've been waiting for somebody like, body like you. All my life. And now, see that nobody like you. You, you, you. That is my life.